It's actually going to be the Nautilus Deny. <laughs> Gosh, I was like, that Malphite ult was pretty strong. I want to play it. And he will get it. And it's the first time that Malphite has like gone through this draft for KT where they're able to lock this in. It's been when D-plus didn't prioritize a band in second phase. So both these teams knowing the strength of this pick. It has to be Thresh now. Um, if it's not Thresh... Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna say it, Valdez. I'm gonna say it, Valdez. This draft has no synergy. He said it. It's 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 concerning. <laughs> Cause like Thresh is so good with Ari and with Lee Sin, and Leona is okay with all of these picks, but not amazing. But you're playing Leona into Annie. There's a lot of damage in this comp. You can't be up in the front lines. You're gonna die. I think that he probably yeah. could have just. Started call. I think Doran's blade's very weak um, right now. And isn't going to offer you a whole lot in this lane. If you're going to go Doran's blade, might as well just go to Long Sword at this point. Like, um, it's going to give you a little bit of extra health for these all ins that you're probably going to face. And it might be good, obviously, at level six. Is Hanbox hiding? Yeah, going to get a little harassed. I mean, you're not really ever doing too much as level four Wukong. He did have red buff, though, so. Just help pushing, and we are looking for this cloud Drake here. Yeah, he just wants to have some pressure in mid so they can get this Drake. So they don't make anything happen early with the um, with an early Lee Sin gang, but they are able to still pick up the Drake first. Nothing way you can do about this now. They're going to push this wave in, so Rahel will potentially lose some farm here if they set a trap. And I think what he means by that. Um, it's like for anyone asks, World 2. Yeah, level two. I, I thought that initially, but I think he thinks that D plus are going to win this fight and bring us to game five. And right now, I don't think KT should be contesting this. They are very late. Yep. Should be able to just hand over a plate to Rahel, which he will uh, take very thankfully. Feisty. Feel pretty good. It looks like he's maybe trying to set a trap, but now he's the one who's caught. Okay, he's Annie. That was my analysis for the situation. Yeah. Uh, I knew that I did not have to say anything else. Because Rahel will just ghost away. Got a ghost. Yeah. And, I mean, Annie doesn't have all, uh -oh. but the follow-up and gates here, though. Hambach ends way. Not the great spot. The charm lands and way. Is able to get some value as the follow-up cyclone here from Hambach is pretty huge. I am extremely low, though, as he barely is going to help pick up that kill. It's a very close call, but KT just barely ahead. With the call completing, that's where a lot of that gold lead is. Aphelios already has his Gale Force. Uh, well. Well? Oh, but there's no jungle, so I think they should just stay on this. I don't think KT can really fight this one. So they do end up winning the fight, quote unquote, but losing the Drake because so many ults had to be used. I'm gonna miss it. I see in a really rough spot here. Does not have Flash as he gets ganged from every which direction. Now Hambach is trying to really force onto this one. He's got a teleport coming in. The entire team going to back him up on this one. As we might just have a 5v5 on the second Rift Herald. Yeah, this time those ults are back up. Got to respect the Annie. Feisty's positioning here is very good. Lucid going over the wall. Okay, that's a Cassante. Definitely don't want to hook him. As a bit of damage comes out from Rahel. Way in a rough spot here. His ult has to be used on the pullback. And KT do not uh, want to take this fight any longer. As they will smite away the Rift Herald. Looks like Hambach should be able to get this one. Nice Cyclone as he goes in alone. Luffy. Trying to zone him away, just goes down as a massive mount fight into the back line. Rahel immediately dies. And now Hype's got an angle here. If he stays alive, K2 will win this fight. And that they do, although Thanatos, I said it too early perhaps, as he goes back in. But guess what? Tibbers is actually the final boss, and Polbe will just have to run away. Like, that yeah. might actually just be what happens in these team fights, so. That's why I pick comps or King Wolf. Yeah, and like just you, kill enemy champion. You have an Ari, but she has such a frontline she has to go through, whereas Malphite doesn't care about frontlines, he just goes. Um and if Rahel is positioned to not get hit by a Malphite ult, he's not doing anything. So it's it's a win for KT. And no vision! They're running it again. I saw this in game one as Charm does come in. Feisty though, with his rod. It's up. It's not completed just yet. Uh, no eight-minute rod in this game. But He's still quite tanky, tanky enough. Yeah, and he has flash ult, so you have to respect his threat as well. Look at how far back Rahel has to play. He's gonna actually teleport back into this, it looks like. There it is. It's rough. Really, when you're playing into Malphite, you are essentially forced to play forward, but you have to have flash. And then when he ults you, you have to react on time. It's like, it's really difficult, but it's often what we see from the best uh, AD carries when you are going into Malphite comps. It's not always easy. Yeah, this is just the new meta in the LCK. It's just like 
in challengers too, obviously now, even arguably more so in challengers, it's just the AD carry scaling um, is now a thing. We're not playing strong side, we're not playing Lucian, Draven, any of that stuff. So you're just like, well, if I just kill it, I win. Kill AD carry, win fight, win game. And we're just going to let this Drake go to try to do Baron, which isn't a spawn. <laughs> Not sure about this. I thought they were grouping mid to push the turret at least, but instead they got the blue buff. And so scuttled. see those two control wards here that are being panned over? Sometimes just the weight of the difficulty is too much. Like you're playing up against two press R ultimates yeah. and you die Here's in, my, in, in Malphite and, and Annie. My my counter argument is I don't think that is going to save the like Bloodthirster shielding actually saves him as okay, this is a good start. Okay, little play here on the top side, Feisty in a lot of trouble, doesn't quite have another uh stun here as Tibbers finally comes down, but they get the pick and it is a shutdown that goes over to Holden. KT should probably just give this up. Uh, or Castle is gonna have to have an amazing ult, right? And follow-up damage has to be there. Yeah. We've seen Castle's had some really nice ults so far. Uh, even as Silas <laughs> in the last game against Malphite. So my argument for this IE second is that you need to do the damage and you won't survive if you get ulted anyways. So yeah. just try to do as much as possible here. And the IE and the shielding and the, the, the overheal stuff is usually good against the enemy AD carry, but not against all this engage. So he just has to position perfectly. Basically, the Gale Force will help with that. Yeah. But if he gets hit by anything, I don't think that You're would dead. have actually saved him. <laughs> so I guess that's why he does this. But I see your point too. It just feels really bad. Like. The risk is just so high, yeah. but he has to be better than perfect. <laughs> the 40% crit on the on the Infernum Alt Gamma. We'll see if it works out here as the charm comes in. A really nice solar uh, flare comes in, but it is just stolen away by Hambach. He's going to get the Drake as now they try to get in onto the Cyclone. And the follow-up Cyclone is so much value. His castle gets his ult flashed here. Rahel is trying to do damage, and he is doing He's quite alive. a lot. Uh, yeah, he's alive, the most important thing. Hype does go over the wall, the cleanse is there, and Rahel will go down. Not quite enough damage, not quite enough Gamba, as KT will take down the fight and the Drake. Well, this is really looking bad for D-plus now, because these resistances continuing to stack up means that even Zeri can push towards his Aphelios and win the fight, especially because he doesn't have that additional healing and shielding from the Bloodthirster. And that's what you normally want the Spores to kill the enemy AD carry, especially when you're playing a scaling game where you're like, oh, it's me versus Zeri, and at the end of the fight it might be just the two of us. But the Zeri has all those extra resistances and the healing, and there's way less threats. As Loopy's trying to set up for a flank here, and it's a really nice idea, but the fight is essentially lost by the fact that the Cyclone gets so high value. Like, Lucid is instantly dead, and then the follow-up ult here into Cyclone, even though Rahel avoids it, it doesn't ultimately matter. Like, Thanatos is pulling the Malphite in, like, trying to help out, trying to peel, and Hype can just chase over the wall. This is the power of Zeri. And Pulvay did his best with the charm, but it's not good enough. We got another fight here. Luffy in a precarious situation. He has to flash over the wall just to get away. So let's flash now down on Leona. Rahel is like, I'm going to change the world. But if he's, <laughs> but if he's back, if he's back in the back line and doesn't get hit, they could just kill the front line. Yeah, and but win the game. I don't, I don't think that's now. He doesn't have flashes. Okay. Let's see. Uh, See how this fight goes. Luffy in a rough spot here as he does get another slow flare now, but he doesn't have flash this time as once again Thanatos now he's trying to get in the front line here with Luffy, but he's also gonna get picked off and that's fair. And unfortunately and they just don't have a way into this fight. Well you watch Rahel in these fights, he's just walking away, and somebody's gonna get left line. Somebody's gonna get engaged on. And they don't even need the Malphite ultimate to do it. They can just use the Wukong to set up the kill on the Luffy, and now you have no support, you can't fight. Thanatos is then the second to be caught. As Luz is just trying to find a way into steel, but he's completely zoned out. Well, Bobe they has Smite. They do not know he's here. Uh, this could be a miraculous steal. But he has no vision either. Yeah, he's uh, we're back in Gamba phase here, I suppose. Is Okay, they've kind of pulled off of this. Feisty is tanking it, though. He's keeping it leashed as in he goes. And unfortunately, the timing is not there for Pulpe. Nice try. Good as ult from Rahel. Infernum is great, but... Uh, yeah, just no vision, very difficult once again. Yeah. And that will be the Baron over the side of KT. Leona and your, uh, okay, hold on. Loopy. All right, here we go death. again. And he still doesn't have flash. <laughs> it feels like everybody on the side of DK should be building lucidity boots with the amount. <laughs> oh, like, like the, okay, this might just be the end of the game. Okay. The clip's gonna, the solar flyer rather does come in and, uh, yeah, they just they, they can't find a way into this as Rahel will make his way back. But again, this is the first inhibitor to go down. They're trying to get onto Castle. That's one, two, three, four autos into Castle. Uh, or Tom Kenzer or Kalissa could have been. Hype? Wait, wait, whoa, baiting? I actually think the Kalissa would have been 
really nice. But uh, either way, we are in this current game, which has KT and 5,000 gold lead. They're Drake. looking for the third Mountain Drake. Third Mountain Drake, and no vision again, but D-plus can't give this one up this time. Look at the positioning here for Castle. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh, no. Well, they are going to see him. That's OK. I mean, <laughs> they can't kill him. They can't kill him. They can't hurt him. So yeah. he's just like, yeah, you so can, can see me. He can still stand there. The only issue is just that if they he push has him away. Yeah, he has Rahel needs flashing. to be away. And he's just threatening. He's just holding on to the R as the front line just, just gets wiped away because KT can never engage because they can't get close enough with Castle, who is not zoned away. So that's going to be the end of that fight, I guess, as KT will take down another Mountain Drake. Another 0-0. Zero, zero for Pool Bay and Rahel in terms of damage dealt in a team fight. They can't get close. It's probably a good call because even if you do avoid Steph, you're still not killing the Malphite. So nope. just ignore him. <laughs> They're like, pretend the rock is not here. And the uh, death cap is going to be useful in a lot of ways. If maybe they get to a game state where he could split push, it's going to be really nice there too. All right, look at this. They're looking for height. There comes the kick and the flash. This hype is in a really rough spot. Down he goes. They take down this area. And do they have the angle now as Rahel has some space. In goes Pull Bay. Castle's on coming. Damage. Castle's He's coming. And here is Castle. He gets into that back line, and nobody can stop him as Malphite is going 1v3. As everybody, including Tibbers, is even trying to get into that fight. And now they peel back the back line. Thanatos is left alone once again. And even without the Seri, KT are winning the fight. Big Rock comes in. Big Rock knocks up Big Rock on the chase. Okay. <laughs> so Big Rock, he's going to steal some movement speed. He's going in find out the secret answer of how many autos does it take and yeah. I just don't want him to know. I really want to know. No, 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 not, not quite. He got a Negatron cloak because he's a little bit concerned. Should have uh, Death Cap next. This he's is the best now. fight. This is the best fight D-plus could hope for. This yep. is actually I mean, straight up the best one. rahel has got Flash. There is an angle here where DK win this fight. Let's see it. That's okay. Loopy on the flank. The pole comes in. Rahel is still safe as the ult just whips entirely. No Moonlight Vigil at all. Castle still full here. health. And Rahel, red white. He's looking to fight, but Hype is still full health too. And Pulbe is just not here. He's too low. I mean, they should just be able to get the smite off here. D plus so desperate now. Lucid okay. can go in. Oh, they're just going to pull the trigger here onto Rahel as Castle is just tanking him up. And that one is stolen actually by Lucid as he will get the Baron. Thanatos is desperately trying to take down Hype, but he will not be able to. As we do have a couple of kills here in favor of KT, but they did not get the Baron. Not even interesting, like comparatively, and I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm just not gonna do it. Probably yesterday, say he was gonna dye his hair. He didn't. Yeah. Um. Okay, we got a flash. Wait, <laughs> wait, down. wait. Here we go. This is the uh, the catch on the Hambok. This is what you were looking for. As Hambok finally takes a little bit of damage in there. As Luffy is going wait. very deep, but maybe too deep as he gets taken, and the flight comes in. It's where did the hell go? And so much damage. Wait, he has GA? He's, he has he's GA? Down into his wait, GA. hold on. The castle is gaining health <laughs> by the second. And Hype will just hop over the wall. That's the end of the series, guys. Three to one in favor of KT as Castle nearly got to 70%. I should have said I was going to dye my hair to a color that you wanted and or cut it all off. <laughs> oh, well. I was trying to curse it for you guys. I really was. Really was. Don't worry, guys. We will show the damage graph and we will show Malphite on top. Do you think Malphite did more damage than the Felios? <laughs> yeah, I do. Actually. All right. Well, um, this is the end of the game. TP's coming in, and that's it. KT will move on to the winner's side of the bracket, as they will go up against DRX next week. A very well deserved three to one victory tonight. Yeah, a lot of excited KT. There are a lot of enthusiastic KT fans in the crowd there at the top of the arena and those upper chairs as they will take the win. He's still not dead yet and Castle's on him and he like starts autoing. He's like, I'm autoing! And then Hype just like goes over the wall and obliterates him. So Malphite did third on his team. He also did less than both of the carries on the other side. Um, nah, he, he, he did effective damage though about this. <laughs> His damage leading to eliminations was very high. Hey, he only reduced 87,000 damage. Almost 1,400 CC score. <laughs> Keeping the CC score pretty low this time around. Only, he only 100,000 reduced damage. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. He was Se a seems big good. Rock. Seems good, yeah.
Um, again, they should have picked Paper, which in this case was Callista, and then you don't have to deal with it. Or Tom Kench, but Tom Kench gets CC'd and you can't devour You know, his name is right. Castle. I feel like it's such a fitting name for, because he was the rock. He was the rook. Okay. He, oh, was, he was the fortress.